guys and i'm about to do y'all's um daily energy reading i'm gonna start with love i'm gonna pull 10 cards to see where you are in love and what's coming towards you um around this time and then i'm gonna get a general message for whoever this is for Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, King of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Cups, the Hierophant, the Hermit, the Four of Cups, Page of Earth, and the Six of Swords. So, the Three of Earth at the bottom. So, I feel like this is about mm, two people becoming one. Because at the top, on the top row, we have the ace to start with. And then we have the two of cups. Um, I feel like this is somebody. You're thinking of a person who you have a deep spiritual connection with. I feel like it's a soulmate or past life lover. Like somebody who you knew in the past, in a past life. Um... In the recent past, I felt like this person was indecisive when it comes to you. Or you were indecisive when it comes to them. Could be a fire sign or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this reading could be for a fire sign. Um, coming towards you as the highest man. Somebody's going to offer a commitment. They feel like you're going to reject them. Because they were indecisive in the past. That's what I'm getting from those two. I feel like you're just hoping that this person is serious. You want to be able to take them serious, but because they were hot and cold in the past, you don't really know if you could take them serious. Um, I feel like you're also just hoping for progress when it comes to something related to business or a job offer or something related to school or work. With the Six of Swords, I feel like... There's going to be a resolution between you and a person. Some sort of conversation that makes you feel like y'all got over a hurdle or um, made something clearer or fixed an issue. Okay, moving on to y'all general message. Can I get five cards? For their general message for today. <laughs> what? Come on, bro. I did shuffle. I did. Like, I did. Yeah, at the bottom, we had a strength. So, you could be thinking about a Leo, or you could be a Leo watching. But, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, with the two of wands being the first card, I feel like it's saying you are... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm goofy as fuck. It says pretty much that you are focused on the big picture of your life. You're not really trying to feed into small shit you're not looking at surface level or superficial shit you're focused on the big picture or your path forward and your path forward um with the king of wands being here i feel like it's telling you that you are on the right path of following your heart like or you have the right idea about something that you want to do as it relates to like some sort of goal that you have It's something that you, if you actually put your heart um, and passion into, it will be successful for you. Your obstacle today is the two of swords. Like we were talking about in love, we were saying you're not going to be sure about this person coming towards you with an offer. You're not going to be sure about this love offer or this person on your mind as far as love. You're not going to be sure about them. So that's your biggest obstacle today. If it's not related to love, your obstacle is going to be how 
to get to the goal that you're focused on with the two of wands or how to make this big dream a reality it was just a coincidence that this deck was here the dream a beautiful dream okay so what your hopes are for today i feel like you could be hoping like you could have a hope that um somebody understands you with the two of cups or somebody um like bonding with a like-minded person or somebody who's on the same page as you or understands you or um it could just simply be coming together with somebody you love but i feel like it's the first thing for most people who this is for um it's telling you the best way to make progress today is the hierophant so commitment dedication to whatever your vision is she's doing some type of ritual um a normal regular person might walk by her and be like what the fuck is she up to what is she doing but she doesn't care like her face is very much committed to what she believes what she is doing um she's a very faithful woman committed to her dream or what she's believed what she's trying to manifest pretty much so that's how you can make progress today so let's get y'all advice from this oracle deck right here power of attraction hmm so clearly as a man and a woman we were talking about love um coming together um but also with power of attraction that's talking about whatever this goal is some of y'all are trying to manifest um let's read the message number 13 hmm There is such wonderful, what? Let's start over. There is such wonder awaiting you. There are so many beautiful adventures and so much magic yet to be. Can you keep your heart open to what is coming towards you without surrendering your experience of this moment by becoming too future oriented? You see, there is a magic in this moment too. There is something arising, arising within you out of the depths of your being. In this process, there is a shift in environment, both internal and external, a fraternity is being stimulated. No, it does not say that. It says a fertility is being stimulated. This is your time to play with that fertility, to conceive, create, and embark upon the process of transformation with an open heart and mind. Okay. You may not know where it, where it is all going to lead the two of swords all you need to know is that it will be a wonderful ride and exactly perfect okay it is what is needed beyond that allow the energy of fertile growth and abundance that now flows so naturally and richly within you and around you simply to be you are a big soul with that often Hold on. You are a big soul, and with that often comes big dreams. Okay. You might worry that you want too much out of life. Perhaps you think that you are only capable of small dreams. If you have joined the Oracle of Big Bow Vision as well, which we didn't, so I'm going to skip that part. This Oracle comes with a special, a special message. You have recently created a cycle of level... Of leveling up your manifestation and are transitioning into a new level of experience like a big fish leaving the small pond and feeling like a rather small fish in a bigger pond there will be some getting used to time is needed to find your way this will add to what you have already done and bring valuable expansion to your realization of your abilities as well as many new relationships and opportunities to help you go further on your journey what you are in the process of creating will benefit from this stage of your process whether your creation is simply your sacred life path a particular creative work 
or an actual child. Aww. There is a positive and constructive energy that is unfolding for you now. You are going to attract whatever is needed to complete your work in progress and bring it into fruition. Okay, so hopefully y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Peace.